Today we're learning how to make this beautiful animated circle inspired slide in PowerPoint all the way from scratch, including all the transitions that you can see on the screen. Let's start from a blend slide, paste our image. We're going to fill it to the full screen, right click the image, and we're making it black and white. So go through format picture to the last tab, the picture tab, and then on the first one, picture color, select black and white. Now we're going to add a shape on top of it, in this case a circle. We want to remove the outline, position it in the center, remove outline, right click format shape and now we're going to give it a gradient fill. For the gradient fill we're looking into the light blue color on both sides, so on both the top and the bottom, and on the top one we're going to reduce the transparency a bit. Adjust the handlebar a little bit to the right and add an extra stop with 100% transparency to the left. Play around with the settings until you're happy with the look of the gradient. I'm adding about four stops. From left is 100% transparency and a little bit less to the right. And once you're happy with the result, this looks about right for our gradient. That looks good. Next, we're going to add some text on it. So add a little text box. Let's type in welcome. Change the font to Montserrat. And let's go for a bold font type. Make it white, a little bit larger, center it in the middle. Be a little bit more, that looks good. Control drag or option drag the text to create a duplicate. Type in a subtitle. Montserrat and light and reduce the font size a bit. And then make sure you position everything as you like. Let's put some shadow to the text. So let's select first one, hold shift and select the second text box, right click format object. And then we go to text options and a second tab, which gives us the shadow options. And let's add a drop shadow to the right bottom right. Increase the transparency a little bit and that makes the text pop a little bit extra. Copy the circle a few times. You can spread it a few times across the screen. Easy way is to hold control while you drag or option while you drag. That creates a copy. And there we have about four or five circles on the slide, which looks good. Let's duplicate the slide. And then on the first slide, we're going to move the objects outside of the screen. So the bottom circles, we're going to drag them to the bottom and once on top, we're going to drag them to the top. The welcome circle, we're going to drag it to the bottom as well and spread the text a little bit downwards. That gives some extra movement in the morph effect that we're going to apply. Select the second tab, second slide, duplicate that one as well. And this will be the outro animation. So let's move it to the side and we can see a clear difference between the two slides between the moving in and the moving out. And let's move it to the top here. Do the same, position the text a little bit higher to create the extra dynamic effect. Now we're going to add a shape, a rectangle on top of the last slide, so the third slide. Remove the outline and give it a dark gray color fill. Right click format shape and we're going to increase the transparency by just a little bit, about 30%. This will give us a nice fade effect on the slide to which we can add some text. Add a text box for the title. Let's call this chapter one. It can be any context of your slide. Title, Montserrat and bold, so we stay in the same font type, center it in the middle and make it a little bit larger. Now let's add a few extra text boxes below with some dummy text. Let's make this a three step slide. Add some dummy text with Montserrat light and create two duplicates. Maybe to make a clear distinction, let's also add some circles to indicate step one, two and three. This gives us a visual clue that it's related to the first slide so we stay in the circle theme. Remove the outline, make it white and then add the letter one to it. Make sure the text is dark gray and use the same font size as the rest of your presentation. 
Once you're happy with the result, copy that for step two and step three, and then simply change the numbers. And this looks like a pretty neat slide. Let's group everything together. Right click group or use the shortcut control G. Select three grouped items, center them in the middle. And once you're happy with the result of the slide, you can copy the chapter and the three steps, paste them on the previous slide, so the second slide, and drag them to the bottom of your slide so they're not visible on the second slide. This way, once we apply the morph effect, they will fly into the screen. Let's paste them a little bit more so they fly in at different rates. Now we want to select the two second slides and apply the morph transition. And then as a final touch, we're going to add the background image on the second slide, right click crop, and we're going to zoom a little bit. This will give us a nice zoom effect when we transition to the slides. Do the same on the third slide, so paste that zoomed in image to the background. And that's nice. Let's go to the first slide and preview. And now you know how to make this beautiful animated slide in PowerPoint inspired by a few circles. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the video on the screen right now.